Hi, my name is Aaron. I'm a technical director from SD Energy Solutions, and today we're at a property near Plymouth installing solar PV. So normally we would have to rip out about ten, about five to ten slates to get a hook in, um, but today we're using solar limpets, which basically just sit on top of the on top of the slate. Um, we drill through, find the rafter, um, and it cuts installation cost by about fifty percent. Um, and as long as you're trained by the company who make them, um, they guarantee the limpet uh, for the integrity for the, the lifespan of the roof. So the first thing we do when we get to site is um, talk to the customer as to where they want the battery, the inverter. Um, we discuss with the customer cable routes, so how they want the DC cables run, where they want the AC cables ran to. Uh, and then once we've located where we want the battery, so in this instant it was in, in the corner of the garage, uh, try and keep it out of the way of cars and that because they, they do use this for, for cars. Um, and then once we discuss where we want the, the battery and inverter, we start getting our cable routes in, for, so our AC side back to the main panel, and then we start getting our DC cables uh, from when the inverter is going to be located up onto the roof. Um, so in this instance, we've got, we got two roofs, we've got a west and east split. Um, so we're going to have nine panels on the west and nine panels on the east split. So um, essentially we've got to run two lots of DC cables for this one, which Kobe started running in now. So we've got the front, the front nine in, now we're going to get the back nine in, and then um, I'll start stacking the batteries and get the inverter all put in. So at the moment we're stacking the, so we've got three batteries on this one to, to give them five kilowatts of storage. So we stack each five kilowatt uh, battery on top of each other with the BMS sat on top. So we essentially got a time all together. We run the earths up through uh, and on the left hand side, which I don't think you can see, but we run up the DC side and then all the communications run up on the left hand side as well. So I'm just stacking them up and getting them tied to the wall and then we start wiring them up. Small, isn't they? So what we've done at the moment is we've fitted all three of our batteries, so one, two, three, five kilowatts of battery with a battery management system on top. Got a five kilowatt inverter fitted, so now it's a case of wiring up the batteries on the left hand side here and then getting our inverter connected up to, to these batteries then. Uh, and then after that we'll go and talk to the roofers, um, see where they want the cable entries onto the roof uh, and then take it from there. Um, but no, we're getting there. Slowly but surely this measures what has come, what's happening with the main supply in the house so the battery knows when to discharge and to charge. So when it sees surplus solar going out to the grid this will tell the inverter that the battery needs to charge or when it sees current being drawn from the grid, it will also then tell the battery to start discharging and um, start supplying the house with, with battery energy. So I am crimping the male and female MC4 crimps on the end of both cables that come out of the roof so that the roofers then can wire up the panels for us in series so we can get the inverter commissioned then. So we basically wire, that's the the male end and I'll go down the end and go do the female end. So they should. Yeah, he's marked up for us. So. Push it in and do a click. And tighten the compression gland on. That's it done. I'm ready for the roofers now. So before we do the main commissioning, I'd just like to turn it on on the AC side uh, and get the upgrades done to the battery, the upgrades done to the inverter, uh, just pretty so that we don't hit any problems during the main commissioning. So this is what we're doing now, we're just upgrading the inverter. I'll then move on to upgrading the battery and then by that time hopefully we'll, um, we'll have the panels on the roof and we can start commissioning the DC side then. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing for a minute. So we're now at the commissioning stage. So I'm basically going to get a reading from the from one side of the string now. Which should come back hopefully within parameters. Yeah, so 370 volts, about 15 amps of generation, which is good. So that means that I know polarity is right, I know that voltage is good, I know we've got nothing wrong with the installation. And then we can go in and plug in then, well at least one string anyway. String bang, it never goes bang.
be nice if we get that on there big isn't it? Cool. Oh, we got that one label. Do you want to get some labels done for that board, please? All right, and now we start the inverter up. It'll take a while for it to be ready to commission. But AC on, battery on. Then it'll go through like a um, like a self-diagnostic check first before we're allowed to do any commission to it, which takes about five minutes before we're allowed to connect to it and do the commission process. So green lights are good, red lights are bad. Cool. That'll go for about five minutes now until... What it would do first is we've got to log into the inverter. Cool, so we set the time, the date, and then what it would do, we haven't got them on this system, but it will search for any optimizers that we have. Um, we haven't put them in yet, so um, that should come back with zero. <coughs> we set the code for the power meter, which is 11. Well, most of these have got those nuts in. Yeah, that means in there. All right. that then all it'll do is it'll just search, it's then 95%, so it'll search for any optimizers, um, like I say, which there isn't any, so it shouldn't come back with any. Um, and then we can move forward, there you go, no optimizers. Next, battery control, so we want to use the battery for self-consumption. Don't want to be giving it to the grid. Next. So we now have to connect it to the internet, which is a bit that takes me forever, because I always enter the passwords wrong. I'll probably have to do that about 30 times until it connects. So we've got to get it online so that we can get it connected to the um, monitoring system so while that does that I'll go and stick all my lovely labels everywhere yeah wrong password it's because I don't put capital I struggle with like when there's capitals in that BCU just need to stick them all along these DC cables just to just tell people that they are DC cables and don't chew them cool we're online next batch is online batch is connected Next, confirm. So now it'll ask us to create a plant for the um, for the customer. So we've now added it to his plant. Got to make sure it's generating as it should. It's ruined the whole video now. That's it. We have to start again now. Oh, hang on, let me rip it all back out and we'll stop and start again. No wonder he can get stuff straight because he keeps dropping me bloody levels. They want to be on camera, you know that, right? Sorry, Dan. Ten rails. So how long have you been working in the soda industry? Oh, many years. <laughs> <laughs> all of two months. <laughs> I was probably up there when they first installed the first solar panel. Well, you were there, were you? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> In China? In China, yeah. I was there when they made it. I, um, I came up with the design. Um, and yeah, I was there when they installed it into the first roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 0 0.26 kilowatts of generation. <sighs> On a three and a half kilowatt string. Is it cloudy out there? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be why. Yeah, perfect yeah, so this is what we see. We see the engineers side of it. So we got <clears throat> 0.256 kilowatts of generation. The batteries also help in the house because the house is drawing about 500 watts at the moment. Yeah, so it looks good. Come on, come on.